Hello everyone and welcome back to the camera tutorial. My name is Ed and today I'll be showing you how to use video and music to better capture attention, add meaning and evoke emotion in your text posts on social media. Video is an awesome storytelling device and when laid with quotes, call to actions on a piece of text, you can look forward to even better engagement and even more information and attention from your audience than with this text alone. Music is also a profoundly powerful tool at stirring an emotional response and it's a welcome addition to any video post. Let's look at just one of the ways we can use video and music in unison in Canva. We're in Canva and here is a starting block we're going to work with. It's a quote from a mock Canva quote page called the Canva quote. How many times did I just say quote? Wow. <laughs> Taking a moment to mull on this quote, we can see the key themes of motivation, waves, discipline and reliability. I'm liking the waves angle as it's the most visual. I think layering a beach, water or waves video as a background may be interesting here. I'm going to head into the videos tab and have a look around for these kinds of videos. I could search beach up here, but conveniently beach option is already here for us. Let's click through. And I'm going to go through a few of these videos and just feel free to do the same. Take as much time as you need and just find the best video fit possible. So I'm liking this video here because of the person running on the beach side. It's relevant to the waves concept in our quote because of the waves on the right here. And it also draws a connection to the motivation and discipline concepts because this person is seemingly jogging or exercising, which let's face it, is an activity which requires a degree of motivation and discipline. Let's go with this and fit this video to our design. I'm just going to do that by zooming in from these edges. And I'm just going to pan it a little bit to the right just so you can get a bit more waves in there. I'm now going to move our video backwards just so our text comes forwards. And I'm kind of thinking that our subject or this runner over here is probably going to cut through this text here. So let me rotate this video just so the runner isn't obstructing the text or vice versa. And let me see how this looks. Much better. I'm now going to be choosing a nice clean font for this quote that we have over here. I implore you to take your time finding a good fit for the overall mood of your design. Think for this kind of design, we're looking for something clean and motivational. So I'm going to select our text and I'm going to head to text over here and have a look through these display fonts. I don't think we want display for this. I might just go to our drop down font selection option over here. I've got a few favorites up here, so I might go for articulate. I think that'll be a good fit for this. Perfect. So I'm um, going to take some time now to like play with the positioning, see what I like the most. I think I like having our text to the left here like this. And I'm just going to pinch it a bit smaller because it is quite large at the moment. Just going to reposition that. The text is a little hard to read because of the color and complexity of this video. It is quite noisy. We've got sand, we've got runner, we've got waves, a lot of texture, a lot of detail here. So I might add a transparent and colored square over the background video to help remove some background noise. I'm going to do that by heading to elements, selecting a square and placing that over our background like this, fitting it to the design and then pushing it backwards. So from here, we're going to change the transparency and bring that down to about 50 for now. And going with the beach theme, I'm going to change this color to maybe something that fits with the theme of this video. We'll pull it like a blue for the ocean. I do like this aqua. Might just make a whole new color myself and probably play with the transparency again just to find the right balance. And I'm liking that. I'm going to now add our page handle because if this amazing post gets reposted, I want my credit. <laughs> and I'm going to add a call to action as well. So I'm just going to add some body text and our page is called the Canva quote. I'm going to put that above our quote. And I'm going to copy that text and replace a call to action down here just to gauge some opinions and get some conversation going. This is quite a polarizing quote, so I might go for something like, do you agree? Just to get some opinions and see what my fans think. And let's change this font color to white. And I want to go for something handwritten that contrasts uh, against this kind of font style, here, this clean, elegant font style. So I'm going to select that text, I'll go back and go to handwriting. 
And I'm gonna test out a few fonts here. Take as long as you need to. Again, just like your video tech, as long as you need to, find a good fit. And I like this Buffalo font. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna resize this and reposition it too. And I'm going to use our puppy style option or feature to make this text down here the exact same. And I am liking that. Just to emphasize some keywords in this quote, I'm going to change the font color of motivation and discipline to a higher contrast, dark blue. I want those words to really stand out. So again, I'm gonna go down here, probably use one of our default colors as a base and then find a new color from there. I might make this a tad more blue. I like that. And that's looking like a nice blue. So I'm going to make discipline the same color now saved into document colors which is great and that's looking awesome i want our text to pop off the background a little bit more it's looking like it might get washed out between all this texture and the background still so i'm going to select that text head to effects and i think lift would be good in this scenario just for the experience i'm going to turn that down to about 40 again copy that style down here i'm liking that and I might do the same for this text here Let's bring that down to 40 as well. And now our text is a lot more distinguishable from our background. Just for a nice little stylistic touch, I might also add an indent to our quote text over here. I'm gonna do that by heading to elements, choosing a line, rotating that 90 degrees, changing the color to this document color we have going on here for our, for our key terms. And I'm going to increase the line weight to probably make it as thick as our font, which is probably about there. And I'm just gonna make sure that I've selected the square tipped line format over here. And terrific. So I'm gonna indent our text, just a tad, and I'm going to put this indent, this line over here to accompany our indent. And also as just a nice little design touch. And I'm gonna put that in line with our text like this. That's looking great. And I might just make sure this is in line. That's in line too. And terrific. This post is looking awesome so far. With video usually comes sound, so I'm going to add some upbeat, hopeful, or motivational sounding music to this post too, just to add yet another dimension and evoke some emotions from our viewers. I'm going to do that by heading over to audio and sifting through Canvas audio library, taking my time again to find the right soundtrack that fits perfectly for this post. I've got a number of genres up here that I can search through or I can just go through the genres like this by clicking see all to expand this selection. So I'm go through, but I want something upbeat, happy, potentially motivational. I'm gonna take my time going through all these audio soundtracks just to find the right one. And I implore you to do the same. So let's have a look around. And I think I found our soundtrack, the still standing song over here. So up the top here, you'll see a selection pane, which you can drag to select a certain portion of the song that you'd like. So I'm gonna quickly sift through and find part of this song, which I feel will be the best fit to this scene that we have happening here of this person running. So again, take some time now to also listen and, and just find the right sort of segment of this song to use. And I found the part of the song I want to use, so I'm happy with this. And we're all done. Here is our complete video quote post in all its awesomeness. Let's preview it over here. So to summarize, the video in the background has been made less overbearing with the clever use of transparent elements and the video serves as a relevant visual reference to really tie our themes together and drive home this quote. We've used an indentation and color in the text to emphasize our two big themes and we've added our social media handle and a CTA for good measure. Music has also been used to add an emotional dimension to this post. All these design elements and devices have come together to tell a much richer story than just text alone. Next time you're putting a similar post together, have a think about how you can add meaning to this post and how you want your viewers to feel when looking at this post. Then look at adding video and music accordingly. This was just one of the ways to approach this. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, please feel free to share them below, as well as any designs you've made using the learnings of this tutorial. If you like this video, please let us know by leaving a like and comment below, and I will see you in the next tutorial.